Hi everyone, welcome to the coding channel. Today is the 34th episode of our Java programming tutorial series. And in this episode, we are going to talk about another way of creating a Java GUI using JFrame class in Java. This is more when we come back. In our previous episode, we've talked about the introduction of a Java a Swing GUI or a Graphical User Interface. And um, we've learned from that episode that um, in order for us to have a uh, frame, okay, to generate this uh, frame, we need to instantiate an object from a JFrame um, class under the javax.swing package. Okay, that's why we have um, put here uh, the JFrame inside of our main um, uh, method. And then um, by having this um, uh, JFrame with a new object, myFrame, we can now um, uh, make use of the uh, methods of JFrame class, which are the uh, set default class operation, the set visible, set size, set location, set title, set resizable, the set icon image, and then the get content um, pane. So these are all methods of the JFrame. Um, class and at the same time i've um, discussed how to insert an, uh, an icon uh, as you can see we, we change the default icon by using the uh, set icon image with an image icon um, class under all uh, uh java the swing um, package now if you haven't um watched uh, yet the uh, previous episode so i suggest that you watch it prior to this um one because in this episode i'm going to show you another way of um uh, displaying a frame with a different um, approach okay so let me show you uh, now I have here a new class okay main uh, GUI 2 okay um, can you um, uh, observe you know uh, what's the difference of this now okay from the uh, previous um, class okay as you can see okay if you have noticed that we uh, put all together the uh, instantiation and then all the um, uh, the uh, uh, method uh, of JFrame uh, class in one um, method, which is inside of our main method. Okay. Now, in in this um, a new um, way, okay, what I did here is that I um, first the uh, instantiation I put it outside of the um, methods of method main. Okay, so that uh, every time we use the uh, the the my frame object and um, even the my icon object okay since we put it outside so we can um, call this one inside of the other uh, methods as well okay and then it's like a global variable okay but this time we're talking of objects okay and then the second um uh, new here is that uh, i've created the uh, what we call constructor method okay now this is the first time that i'm going to um, discuss the constructor method but um, we have a separate um, um, episode regarding uh, the constructor method if I'm going to um, discuss with you the uh, object-oriented um, topic. Okay, but for now, since we are uh, uh, using it, uh, let me just um, explain to you um, the, the simple um, you know, explanation of what this constructor um, all about. Okay, now constructor method, these are actually uh, also a method but we call it as a special method because th what's the difference of the special method uh, uh, compared to the um, ordinary method okay as you can see uh, you cannot uh, see any um, uh, return uh, data type here okay not even a uh, void okay so that's the um, constructor method okay you don't need to put there um a um, return a data type now what will happen if we put for example their uh, void okay like for example public um uh void main gui2 so this is uh now uh java will treat this as an ordinary method now okay and not a constructor method or a special method so don't um dare to put um any return type in our constructor method okay the second um um uh, that you need to uh, keep in mind when it comes to constructor okay make sure that the name of your constructor should be identical to your class name if your uh, our class name is a main a gui2 so the name of our constructor should also so uh, main gui2 with a capitalization here okay if it's capital m there is always uh, put a capital letter also there okay and 
me open and close parentheses because this one is a method. It's the only difference. Okay. And then, so this one is an example of a no argument constructor. So a uh, constructor can have an argument or parameters, but uh, it doesn't have a return type. So that's um, uh, the uh, only, um, you know, uh, difference of a constructor method. Now, what's the function of constructor method in a, in a class? Okay. So actually, uh, even in our previous example, okay, um, we even if we don't put this constructor method inside of our class, Java will um, create every time we create a new class. Okay, Java will create also a default um, constructor for us. Okay, so but since this is the first time that we um, uh, uh, created a constructor explicitly. Okay, so that's why I'm discussing it um, with you now. Okay, now why I've created this one? The only purpose is that for us to, instead of uh, putting all the methods uh, inside of main method, so it's, uh, it would be better that we separate this in and put this inside of a constructor um, uh, method. Okay, and uh, so that the other classes can access uh, also, we can reuse this um, methods that we put inside of the main uh, GUI too. So later, I will show you that. Okay, so for now, um, just keep in mind that, okay, the only difference here is that I put uh, outside the uh, instantiation of JFrame. And at the same time, I've created the constructor, okay, just to initialize, um, you know, the, um, uh, I put all the methods inside of the constructor method. Okay, so that inside of our main method, okay, is the um, uh, constructor method call. Okay, because take note that even if we provide uh, a constructor method here, a no argument constructor, uh, when we execute this um, uh, program, the uh, Java virtual machine will still find the main method of our class. Okay, that's why I put here the, um, the method call of that um, main GUI. Okay, so as you can see, I have um, a co uh, I put this inside of a comment. Okay, the uh, the other way of calling this one. Okay, this one is um, also a method call to our constructor. The only difference is that um, I've created a uh, an object. Okay, but if you're planning to just simply call the uh, constructor method without creating a new object, so you can uh, use the um, syntax in line number 22 okay so let's just have to put it this in comment okay so that's the um, uh, way of doing that okay so if we're going to to run this one okay we will still have the um, um, same um, output as you can see but the only difference is that I changed the uh, the color okay from blue to yellow by using color that uh, yellow in here okay and then um, another uh, way of doing this is by using the uh, superclass or by um, inheriting a, um, a, a JFrame and um, making it as a superclass. Okay, so by using an extends keyword here, okay, we are actually uh, inheriting the, the methods of JFrame um, class. Okay, so this technique is actually... Um, what we call um, inheritance. And again, we have a separate um, discussion about inheritance, about object-oriented programming in Java. But um, so for now, uh, just keep in mind that when you inherit uh, a uh, methods of a certain class, okay, let's, let's say for example, it's a uh, specific. Okay, the only um, uh, purpose that why I um, extends uh, JFrame is that uh, I want to use the method of JFrame class. Okay, as you can see, what are the methods of JFrame class? We have the get content pane, we have the set icon image, the set resizable, and the uh, set visible, and all of these methods. Okay, now if you compare this um, uh, technique now in our previous episode, in here, we've used the um, object name of JFrame class every time we uh, use the, the, the built in method my frame that set icon image, my frame that set resizable. So if you don't want to um, uh, use the my frame um, object name every time we uh, reuse the uh, the methods of JFrame class. Okay, all we need to do is just to put to um, extends keyword. Okay, and then specify the um, the super class, which is the JFrame class. And then by this time, okay, main GUI three now is our subclass. 
That's why inside of our main GUI tree, okay, we can now access directly the, the methods of a JFrame class without um, specifying here or using the object name of our um, JFrame class. So that's the advantage of uh, doing it. Because the moment you inherit, okay, methods, actually we're not just inheriting methods. That's why uh, we have a separate um, discussion about um, inheritance. But uh, in here, uh, since we um, inherit, okay, uh, or we make the JFrame as our superclass. So the subclass now looks like um, we have now um, a direct access to that method because uh, it's like that. It seems that uh, since we are already a subclass of a JFrame, so whatever methods uh, the JFrame uh, have, okay, it's like that we have that also in our um, class. Okay, there's a simple um, explanation about that. But don't forget again to put a uh, method call every time we use this one because the uh, constructor is uh, not, um, you know, uh, uh, if you think that it's like a main method that every time you run a program, uh, Java will automatically find the main method. So a uh, constructor is not like that. Okay, if we want to call a constructor, even if that one is a no argument constructor, we need to specify the method name here. Okay, and then I've changed the color red for you to uh, see that this one is also possible. So if we're going to run this, okay, we are running now a, a new a version, uh, a new way, okay, but this time with a subclass and a super class, okay? So so that's it. Uh, and then uh, before we uh, end of this um, episode, let me show you the advantage now of... Um, uh, separating all the methods okay inside of the constructor method i've told you that uh, main the constructor is actually uh, a gateway or the uh, entry point of other classes when they when we allow other classes to access that's why it's always um public okay okay so let me um show you for example the main uh, gui4 will reuse or, or try to access the um methods of a JFrame class within uh, the uh, constructor method of my of main uh, GUI 3. Okay, and how are we going to uh, do that? So from inside of the main method of main uh, GUI 4, okay, we just we can just specify new main uh, GUI 3. Okay, and then, so as simple as that, for example, if you're going to run this one, okay, so we can uh, also still access that one. So we are now uh, reusing Okay, that's the advantage of this um, approach. Okay, now another thing that I want to show you. Okay, uh, for example, uh, the background color of this one is red. Okay, and then since you can uh, create a new object, that a GUI, for example, a GUI, and then um, you want to reuse all these things except for the background color. So if you want to change that one, okay, you can just specify uh, the GUI as the ob our object name of this uh, object name, a new object of uh, main GUI three, okay, that we have created, and then use that here. So uh, GUI that get content pane that set back on, and then change the color to whatever color, for example, that uh, you want, okay. But the rest is as is, okay. We will be still using this. The, the set title, set resizable, whatever, um, the, the location, the set size that we specify, okay? So let's try to um, run this one. And there you go, okay? So that's the advantage of using this um, approach. And um, take, uh, that in this one, this approach is, um, I want to use this um, in other, in our um, succeeding, you know, um, new um, episodes about the GUI components. So just to wrap up uh, what is the difference of this um, episode and our previous episode, okay? In here, we've just put all inside of the uh, main method, okay? But in our new approach, okay, we've created a constructor, okay? I just want, I need to highlight that one. This time, uh, we've created a constructor and uh, we put all the methods, uh, call of um, the methods of JFrame class inside of the constructor method. And um, also we can um, use this um, technique where we just um, um, created a class and then uh, 
it seems that the Mandarin GUI 3 now is a subclass of the JFrame class, which is now our superclass. And by having this um, technique, okay, we can uh, use all the methods of the uh, JFrame class directly without using the um, object name of that class. And the one advantage is, of course, um, using this one, we can now reuse the uh, whatever we did inside of this um, constructor method in other classes. Okay, so that's the source code for this episode. And that's all for today. And if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing. And as always, show your love through comments and favorites. God bless and thank you for watching.